for this uh, for this we are going to need first to create a blink account login with our uh, mail address then we receive a mail and finally we create a securized password and this that's it so we create a new template uh, we select uh, Arduino and Wi-Fi uh, it stays the same then we give it whatever name we like as you can see then we are uh, going uh, to need to download the Blink uh, library we are going to download uh, this file. I'm going to put all the links in this in the description. We are going to download this file and then we, go, we are going to unzip it. We are going to see. The next thing we are uh, going to need is the virtual com port driver. We need to download it. It's free to download and uh, it's easy to download. Next is we need this link. Let's start. Uh, uh, let's start with the link. We are going to copy it. Then we are going to open Arduino uh, IDE. We are going to file, then preferences. And then we are going to pass that link here. As you can see, we are going to press OK. The next step is to go to the file that uh, uh, we downloaded. We are going to unzip it. I have already done this, so no need to redo it again. Then we are going to open the file and copy all the files inside this folder. After this, we are going to uh, go back to Arduino IDE again. We are going to Files, Preferences, and then we are going to Browse in Sketchbook Location. Okay, then we we open the libraries folder, and finally we paste the the files that we copied. I already done this step, so no need to redo it again. And finally, we are going to libraries, and we are going to search for. Uh, Blink library, but first you need to select Arduino Uno in the in the boards manager. Make sure to have uh, Arduino Uno. Then go to libraries and finally uh, download Blink. As you can see, Blink by Volodymyr is already downloaded. Uh, and finally, we are going now to Blink. We are going to uh, create a dashboard. We are going to create to add a new device. So from template, then we uh, whatever pops up, then we create. Finally, we are going to copy this code. So this is the code. Uh, so this code is very important. This is the code that links between uh, our Arduino and the Blink uh, server. We are going to paste it. And make sure to, to change the the Blink authentication token below, as you can see. Make sure to have all uh, these rights. Okay. So now for this uh, project, we are going to create a very simple, uh, we are going to uh, control this LED. Uh, so in Proteus, we add the, the components called COMPIM and we connect the TDX with the TX of the Arduino and the LXD with the 
the RX of the Arduino. For the LED, uh, for the COM, we, we for the for this COM pin we choose COM3. Then we set the correct board rates, as you can see. And LED, we connect it with the with the with the, the, the pin number 13. And we are going to control it uh, the, uh, with the blink. Here in blink, blink rights, it's V1. I'm going to change it to V0 in uh, just a minute. We add the switch. I'm going to change it to V0. So we added the switch. Now we are going to create a data stream, a virtual pin. And uh, then we are going to choose V0, as you can see. We are going to create. Then we are going to choose the, the pin that we created. And we are going to save. Uh, now I'm going to redo this step. Uh, now we are going to open the virtual serial port driver. I'm going to show you how I did this. I'm going to delete it and uh, recreate it. So you are going to find this. We are going to pair. We are going to choose COM3. Then the virtual port to pair. We are going to choose COM4. After this, this is very important. We are going back to uh, the libraries folder and then we are going to click on blink then scripts and uh, we are going to modify this this one so as you can see you need to have com4 here then uh, the the ports 8080 and the blink that's cloud and uh, make sure to have everything right uh, and here we are going to have com4 Sometimes it's when it's box, you simply show, change it to COM1 and the, in the virtual port application to COM1. So we are going to compile. And I think that uh, we are good. We are ju just going to uh, uh, select the file that we compiled. Uh, I already did it, so no need to redo it again. And this is very important. We are going back to this uh, to this file right here, and we are going to execute it as admin, uh, as you can see. We are going to wait uh, till uh, a text shows up. Okay, now we go we go, we go back to Proteus, and we hit uh, we we run this uh, simulation. And uh, that's it. Make sure to subscribe. Uh, very important. Uh very important thing to notice sometimes uh, especially when using proteus the blink might not work correctly so when uh, if you followed all the steps and blink did not work correctly what's what i do is first you change com4 to com1 in this file and of course in the virtual uh, port uh, uh, software just like we did so it will be in the virtual port com1 to com3 and in this file you're going to change all uh, all the com ports to com1 if it did not work then if if this uh, solution did not work again what you are going to to do is just leave com4 as it is okay and we are going to change the server port from 8080 to 80 and if it did not work, you're going to change the server ports from 8080 to 80 and change also the COM ports from COM4 to COM1. So let me recap. If this, if you followed all my steps and uh, the blink did not work, what you should do is first change, co change COM ports in the, in, in the launch virtual serial ports driver. So it's, it's going to be 
com1 to com3 this uh, and you're going to change uh, to, to change them also in this file so you're going to change them in this file we have two two uh, two uh, data fields that you are going to change in this file two times so if this step also did not work what you are going to do is you are going to change the uh, is you are going to change to change the server ports from 8080 to 80 and you are going to try combinations